I have some bad news. I have a sprained ankle. My foot is so swollen. It's so it's so it looks so funny. It's so like big. Like it, this can't be it. I can't even distinguish. I can't even see my ankle the way it's swollen. I'll let me show you a picture of it, how it looks. Uh, you can just look at it here. Yeah, that's how my foot looks right now. So I sprained my ankle the day before yesterday. Yeah, I think so. It was the day before yesterday. So this is my second day, full second day with a sprained ankle. And I've been I've been looking online how to heal, how to quickly heal a sprained ankle. And there seems to be no like showcase remedy for it. You just have to put some cold ice on it every day. So that's what I've been doing. I've been putting some cold water in a bucket and then pouring in some, some ice, pouring in some ice in it and keeping it in there for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes at most I try but that 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 is very hard because my my leg becomes like really cold and I, I start my toes start feeling tingly because of the coldness and I take it out sometimes so I put it in there for like uh, yeah 10 minutes at most I've never tried 15 minutes um, they say I'm I'm supposed to put it in for 15 minutes but I guess I'll keep on trying anyway I just want to do this recording because I want to see how long does it take for a sprained ankle to, to heal so I'm currently on my second day with my sprained ankle uh, Another disadvantage on this is that I can't do any gym. I can't go jogging. I can't lift weight because I I have to use my leg to balance. But yeah, it's getting better. It's second day. Yesterday I couldn't I couldn't like put any pressure on on the leg. I couldn't it, it if I wanted to move it had to to be floating so I was using like a stick to walk but today I've, I've got rid of the stick I can actually put my leg down now so I'm able to move a bit so yeah we will see how many days it's going to take for me to be back at optimal performance I was thinking maybe three days I think I, it's a bit ambitious maybe on the fourth day so the day I, I broke my I mean I spread my ankle the day before yesterday which was Monday and I was playing indoor soccer so Tuesday was yesterday today is Wednesday which is the second day tomorrow will be Thursday tomorrow will be Thursday which means that would be my third day. I'm planning to go back on gym on Friday. So I'm giving it a full three days to heal up and see if I can start doing gym again, going back to gym. So yeah, tune in and just keep in touch and uh, just to find out how long does it take for a sprained ankle to to heal and i think it's going to take well i know sprained ankles there are different levels to it i think this is like first level this is my level one level one sprained ankle because nothing severe to it just it just burst i had some cracking sound when it twisted 
it was like <coughs> but it's it wasn't that bad so i think yeah it should heal a bit faster so yeah we'll see anyway yeah that's all i wanted to to share with you guys that i have a sprained ankle ankle before i say ankle <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah so i have a sprained ankle and i wanna see how long it takes to to heal up oh, my foot looks very funny I don't, I'm not sure whether you can see Boto. This is the normal food. It looks so tiny. So I wanna put it this way for you. So you can see the normal food and just look at the, the big food. It is so bad, it is so bad. But yeah, that's it. Anyway, this is day two of my sprained ankle i'm gonna just try to fit this in one video so that i don't do many videos so anyway yeah let's see what day three uh, has installed mm. we are now on oh, day number three stand up okay my sprained ankle Okay. As I've mentioned, today, I think it is this day, I sprained my ankle Monday afternoon at about 8, 8 at night, because we, we usually play indoor soccer, Mondays uh, in the afternoon. So this is currently my third, that's when I sprained my, my ankle. Monday so yeah it's been Tuesday and then I couldn't walk on I couldn't walk on the day Monday and then Tuesday I still couldn't walk yesterday it was a bit better that was Wednesday and today it's Thursday it's much more better I think we are about, if I were to measure it in terms of percentages, how, how close I am to be fully operational or for my, for my leg to be fully operational, I think we are at about 65% to 70% because now I can walk properly. I'm no longer limping. I've just took out my bandage because I want to share with you guys that uh, the thing I think helped me to, to, to get better real fast it, it, it's just in messing and putting my leg this leg into uh, eyes I have used this bucket so I pour ice in here and then I pour some water and then I, I put in both my legs because you don't want to put in one and then I try to keep it in, keep them in there for like 10 minutes I think that really helped with fast, fast tracking my healing so yeah let me just show you what I what I do, let me get some ice in the fridge. Okay, here is my ice, uh, homemade ice. As you can see, it's just ice cream. You put it in there. Let me just let me just pour the whole thing in here and let me put in some water All of 
the water. So yeah, this is a bucket full of ice. And then, oh, let me, I think I forgot to take a towel. Let me get a towel so that I can wipe my legs when I'm done. Ah, damn it. Okay, so I've got my towel. So now, this is a bit of a challenge because I need to put both my feet in this icy water. Anyway, yeah, I put I put my legs in there for about 10 minutes at most. Now you need to put if you if you if you sprain if you sprain one ankle, you need to put you can't just put one leg in and leave and leave the other one out because you're not going to be able to put it in for a very long period of time because one leg will be cold and the other one will be hot just like glass you know when you pour when you pour glass when you pour hot water onto some glass and then you, you pour cold water it cracks so that what would happen i'm not saying you you would actually crack but you will feel the effect of having one leg out in the warm and the other one in the cold so you won't be able to to put it in much longer than you should so it's better just to put both legs inside for like 10 minutes or so so yeah 10 minutes So I think yeah this I think this is what has helped me. This is what has helped me my leg heal real fast. So I think tomorrow I'll be I'll be going back to gym. I'll be starting gym. I'll just start to do a little bit of cardio. Nothing hard, just stretches, you know. Just stretching my body and my upper body and lifting some weights. So yeah, that's what I'll try to do tomorrow. Which would be my fourth day. Then it would be, if I'm able to do the, the exercises uh, tomorrow, then that would mean it took about three days for, for, for my ankle to heal. So yeah, that, that would mean it took three days. But I did I did mention that when when Monday I came back home and I just said I told myself I'm going to give my ankle three days and in three days it should be healed should be healed so yeah let's see let's see but I think for it to get back to a bit hundred percent it's going to care it's going to get it's going to be a while maybe it's going to take maybe a week seven days or two weeks for me to be back to like hundred percent optimum where I can like jog and run five kilometers in, in a certain period of time. So yeah, that's it.
Is it done? Is it 15 minutes? Is the 10 minutes or 15 minutes up? I'm not sure. Uh, let me check. Oh damn, I, I forgot to turn on the timer. And yeah, let's see. I think 15 minutes is done now. So yeah. This is how it looks. Let me take a photo for you with my phone so that you can see the inside how how submerged my legs are. So yeah, let me move this. This is is this a photo? Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, this is how it looks on the inside. Uh, okay, I think that's enough. 15 minutes is up. God damn it. My toes, my toes are so, they are freezing. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Let me put this on the floor so that I can properly wipe my feet. So yeah, uh, okay, I've wiped my feet, now my next task is to put back the bandage to hold the ankle back together so to restrict any movement from it any harsh movement or any un uncurated movement okay I think I've put this the wrong way but anyway yeah so yeah As you can see, I didn't put anything, I didn't put any wrapping, <sighs> lotion or anything. That's all I've been doing, putting it on, on ice and then bending it, putting a bandage on it. Oh, and I did take some painkillers, some strong painkillers, but I stopped taking them. I was only taking them, I only took them for the first two days. I think I took them Monday so that I could sleep. And then I took them again when Tuesday. Yeah, and yesterday I didn't take them. And today I'm not going to take them. I haven't taken them. I only took them when I was about to sleep. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's put that 
içinde So yeah, it is it's bandaged but my foot it's it is still swollen I'm sure though it's going to come down sooner or later it's still swollen like it's huge it's like <laughs> it's like Bigfoot's foot anyway that's that's what I've been doing for the past three days to try and heal my sprained ankle anyway that's it guys for today if you enjoy the content please hit that like button subscribe turn on those notification so that you don't miss out on any videos anyway peace love you all i'm out